Yes. Tabasu Makta? Tabasu yes, Makta? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Today is your first class, I think? No, yes, sir. Yesterday we attend? No, not yesterday. Uh, day before yesterday. Sir. Okay, day before. This is your first class, MCS 51, I think. Yes, sir. Okay. About any uh, idea about the sublet, JSP? Huh? If you have some no, idea. Sir, I don't want to attend the class. Okay, if you have some idea about Java. Java. Any knowledge about Java? Java Am I audible? Any, yes, sir. Any knowledge about Java? Yes, sir. Okay, HTML? Yes, sir. Okay, HTML stands for what? Sorry, sir. HTML stands for what? Hypertext transfer protocol, sir. Very good. You are from which area? Sir, Bhubaneswar itself. Bhubaneswar, very good. So, <laughs> so try to learn, huh? Try to learn. So we are just we are just discussing. We are not going through the any one by one. Okay, chapter. We are just discussing or counseling that what is the JSP, what is the sublet, what is the UV, this kind yes, of. Yes, I'm listening to you, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay, Ben Mishra. Yes, good. Thank you. Okay, sir. Just mute your mic. All right, sir. So generally, in this JSP and sublet, one thing is we are using that is called cookie. Okay, cookie basically, you know, is a, a simple text file. And the text file stored in the client computer. Okay, and with two variable, two temporary variable. Suppose, for example, user ID and password. So, it will create one of the particular file called as a cookie file. So, this file stores only the user ID and password. You can see that in Google Mail or whatever the mail site, you come to that, the user ID will be written in the screen. So, once you click that, automatically the password coming up from the cookie. So, this cookie will be help you to what? Basically, uh, when I, to save your time or to remember, when you, sir, suppose you are remembering the what is the password, so not to remember that, it will be cookie will be help you. So similarly, in the project development world, so you are just using cookie for page forwarding, one page to one page forward, one page to one page forward. In the first, suppose in the page forwarding process, we have to mention that user ID and password. So every time we have to mention user ID password to forwarding the one page to another page. So in that case, we are going to use cookie. So similarly, we can uh, directly, uh, directly forward to one page, to second page, third page, fourth page, like that. So the cookie will be help you to save the time. Only for this, we are using the cookie. So cookie basically is a small piece of information. Okay. And it is basically client request. It is stored in the client machine. You just remember all the things about the cookie because cookie will be different different types are there but java cookie we are using for the client purpose
Okay. Next part is come to the. I am going to discuss about the uh, storage medium or called uh, as a Java JDBC application. How to connect the databases? Okay, using HTML or using uh, JSP or subnet. So these four important statements are there. You have to remember it. So basically, one question is coming up about the JDBC concept. Mm. So the question is, the sorry, the step, uh, the four step before statement is, first statement is you have to look for the particular driver is available or not. Okay. Second one is prepare the connection. Then if the connection is over, then you have to create a statement or statement method. Then after that, the statement is ready, then you can pass the query. Okay, so whatever the query you are passing to the particular table. So then after, if you are getting that result, then you can show through the Java method that is called print line method or outline method, many things are there. So I am discussing about the implicit object in JSP. So session, application, and object, then out, and your request and response. So in the sublet part, you have to mention that HTTP sublet request, request, HTTP sublet response, response. But here in JSP, not to use in that, you just go through request and response directly. And in sublet part, you have to write print writer pw equal to rest dot get writer function. Then rest dot print lean. Okay, that means whatever the response you are. Okay, basically you are uh, giving us the output to the client. So you have to write the rest dot print clean, but here you have to write out at print clean. Okay. So out is one of the object. So similarly, same part, sublet HTML is embedded with the sublet programming, means Java programming. But in case of JSP, sub, say, uh, your Java will be embedded in the HTML programming. So it is so easy to write JSP as compared to sublet. And you can see JSP also produce different types of sublets. Okay. So in the whatever you are running JSP program, you can see that the number of sublets are coming through you know program. Okay. So it will be handled by the web server. So this for basically to connect JDBC application, you know down first of all you have to import Java X dot sublet.sql.star or java java.x.sql.star why because the java x is the separate one for the different with java java sql is simple java x with a different basically is a web based driver is there so you can go through java x huh? java x.sql.star then these four statements are class for name. Find out the driver. Class dot for name bracketed by what? JDBC, ODBC, OD, sorry, ODBC, JDBC driver. So now you can find out that particular JDBC, ODBC driver is available or not. If case of MySQL, you have to write that com dot MySQL dot JDBC driver. Because if you are using MySQL database, so you can go through com dot MySQL dot JDBC dot driver. Okay. Then next one is connection. Connection scan. Con is an object. Driver manager get connection. Okay, driver manager, one of the method we are using. 
for the connection to the particular table. So within the bracket, you have to write JDBC colon my SQL colon. So then after that, you can write that particular table. Like uh, suppose you have a uh, root is there or one of the databases you are using in the my SQL, you have to write what local host colon your port number suppose port number is 1808 or 1801 1901 the port number means the port particularly using for the data transmission okay the port number then oblique that particular folder name then within quote you have to write the your database name is root and the table name is root then bracket close then semicolon okay in the case of my access database you can go through connection con equal to driver manager dot get connection odbc colon jdbc colon jdbc odbc bracketed by dsn dsn stands for data source name okay data source name so data source name basically you have to basically defining the system path okay system path basically you see there is a uh, in a control uh, control box means control table uh, sorry control uh, folder program control folder you can see there is a bridge my odbc data odbc jdbc bridge will be there you just click in that so then you can create your path so that means it will find the my access database path so here you have to write and the path name is we are saying dsn data source name then statement st statement before after connection is over then you can go through the statement so statement st equal to st uh, st dot no, no sorry statement st equal to the connection the object connection dot create statement then close parenthesis okay can dot create statement then close parenthesis, parenthesis then colon then after that if statement is ready now then you can go through result test result set rs equal to statement means st dot execute query within bracket you can write within quote you can write select star from student or select star from database whatever you can you have any type table name then you can go through that particular statement that is called statement select star from student then then you see the result so you just add after uh, uh, result set is ready means rs is ready then you can go through one of the control statement that is called while bracketed by rs dot next function okay rs dot next function means what that means the cursor okay moves that particular record okay that means you have searching that particular record that suppose you are using select star from employee I mean student so the cursor moves to the first row okay if you are coming to the particular why which means the user id password you are searching so that's why you are using one of the class select star from student where the roll number is like that and uh, roll number and registration number is like that then automatically the cursor moves to the particular record and that purpose we are using that particular control statement while rs dot next function then after you can defining a table by using out dot print lane then bracket by html then out dot print lane then start with one table okay then out dot print lane tr td okay and PRTD and get get string okay get string 
get string if you have a zero one is there so you can write rs dot get string zero comma rs dot get string sorry then td rs dot get string one so they can you can see that one table is create and within table the two record means two data will be displaying in that so then after you can con dot close function st dot close function and these two must be closed otherwise maybe maybe your table is corrupt then then you close the particular uh if you are going to try catch okay then it will be easy to handle with all type of jdbc connection so you can start with try and catch with the expression e and automatically whatever the error coming through the jdbc connection it will be catchable by particular method so these four things this is basically or post statement we are using in the both side both servlet part and also jsp part chinmay ranjan sahu chinmay ranjan sahu सर नमस्कार हैव यू अटेंड यस सर नहीं सर टुडे आई विल नॉट व्हाई व्हाट इज द रीजन सर नेट का प्रॉब्लम था इज अ प्रॉब्लम इन नेटवर्किंग ना नेटवर्क यस सर इंटरनेट इंटरनेट यस सर The specific topic is advanced internet programming. Yes, sir. So, what kind of advances techniques we are using now? Sir, advanced technique, sir, five G, the four G, jo aata hai advanced. No. Here we are using. the advanced technique is business logic before of that we are using traditional things means the learning purpose we are using okay now yes. we are coming to the business purpose okay okay sir then you can start with your business website business web development business okay using yes. this techniques web server technique oh, sorry uh, jsp servlet is a be using this type of software you can go through a business means you are basically designing the website and what to help designing and uh, to help uh, to and getting money to... and getting money yes <laughs> <laughs> okay okay mute your mobile mute to mute your sound yes. then samit kanka kan kanrar samit kanrar yes sir i am on okay you are from which area i am from west bengal west bengal your yeah. study center is kit yeah actually i worked in infosys so i was staying there but due to work from home now i am living in uh, west bengal was okay fine fine so today i have discussed all the things have you some idea or not yeah i got pretty much sir okay yesterday you have uh, yesterday you have attend no i was not there actually i was in a call in office and i checked today there is a message in our uh, group so i attend today so next i will attend all the uh, Classes, but yesterday it's not there. Mm -hmm. Next class you must to attend, huh? 
Sure, sure, I will. Just, just listen, listen. We say we are not discussing about the chapter by chapter. We are just counseling. Huh? Just listen. Okay, okay, okay. What are the things are there in your paper? Huh? Because that your examination is coming up now. Huh? Sure, sir. Yeah. In February or February end, I think so. Hmm. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, mute your mobile. Then. Sagarika Naik. Sagarika Naik. Yes, sir. So, any idea about JDBC? Do you have some idea? Yes, sir. What are the statements? What are the four statements we are using in the JDBC? Yes, what are the statements we are using the JDBC? Smitanjali. Smitanjali Panigrai. Smitanjali Panigrai. So now coming to the uh, one of the part, like third part, like IJB. So IJB basically you see IJB is a bean, okay, Java beans. So basically it is called with enterprise Java beans. The enterprise means once basically you see all type of business rules are follows in the enterprise bean. Okay, it's not a simple bin. Simple bin, you know, basically the text files are money by text documents are there, but here all type of dynamic elements are available. You can use it in a program development. So So EJB basically the basics is basically you see we have a three types of EJB. One is your session bin and entity bin and message driven bin. Session bin was session bin basically we have a two type of bin is there. One is called stateful bin and another is stateless bin. And it is session means what? Now Currently, we are continuing one class. This is a session is going on. Okay. So, one is your basically called stateful and stateless. It is a stateful bit. And, for example, you can see your credit card and debit card. Okay. Debit card, you have to continue with the pin process, transaction process. It's called stateful and stateless is your credit card once you swipe up then automatically your amount will be deducted from your account so it stores the data in a single session another one is entity bin entity bin basically represent what user data basically the data basically the entity means what the database and the entity bin basically comes with your your database table means the main suppose in case of your one of the table example is student so roll number is the entity 
for employee employee code is an entity so you can dealing with particular one of the major data that called as a entity bin so entity bin helps you the particular applications are available you can connect to the particular uh, uh record directly to the particular field and message driven bin basically lot of help messages are available ah uh, and this is called also java messaging services so message driven bin basically dealing with all type of messages error message or directory message or you can go through your own messages suppose somebody okay going on your program or your project you know basically you have developed one of the project okay so somebody are using your project so you can fire some different types of message but to benefit to the clients must be happy to running your project okay basic one another one is i am just discussing about the stateless isav okay so basically four five steps are there also this is available in your books also i am just narrating that particular uh, stateless isav so basically uh, it will be a business method bin we are saying as a business method bin okay and is interface of is a big client application if it is possible to share my screen to you it will be better to discuss uh and the stateful is is a remote type of things are there for the business method one is remote another is then message driven bin basically it is a table of database means is a message table okay you can store the different types of messages uh then also it is also a java file uh and it is basically the appearance is stateless appearance uh once you fire the particular message automatically it sends the message and fire to the client lot of things are there in the isab part type of securities are available uh, type of transactions are available and you can go through the relationship entity based relationships okay Hmm. Okay. Any doubt regarding sublet and JSP? Because time is over now. So, any doubt regarding your sublet and JSP? Please ask me. yes everybody
or any question you have for this paper no sir all good till now okay fine and also dipunam yes sir any question regarding no sir okay all all uh, all the things you have understand yes sir very good can i ask a one question to you ah uh, so sir yes, sir okay so just to discuss about the what is the scripted tag of jsp what is the use of scripted tag yes for the use of scripted tag in jsp yes punam yes sir what is the use of scripted tag scripted tag in jsp sir yes the scripted tag basically we are using for Write the, write the Java course, sir. Huh? Java course, yes, sir. Java program, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Fine. Then Tabasum Akhtar. Tabasum Akhtar. Unmute your mic. Sagarika Naik. Sagarika yes, Naik. Sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, declaration tag is used for what? Declaration tag is used for what, Sagarika? Yes, sir. It is used for? Declare the? Variable. Declare the statement. Huh? Variable. Variables, okay. Yes, sir. How to declare a variable? What is the data type? In Java, string data type is there. Okay. String. Yes, uh, string data type is there. You can use declare the variable through declaration tag. Okay. And yes, also. Sir. Then I come into the Chinmay Ranjan Sahu. Chinmay Ranjan Sahu. Yes, sir. Expression tag. Expression. Expression tag used for what? Sir. Expression. Yes, expression tag is used for to run, to run the concurrently program in your current program huh? yes to run the complete programming can run the another program like date and uh, time okay it will be yes, running in the currently na yes so suppose you are uh, your program output is coming up with this particular time and date so this is called expression tag yes means directly you can get the output sir okay then come to uh, uh samit kannar samit kannar yes sir okay so what is the use of uh, um, action tag of jsp action tag JSP, mm -hmm. JSP action tag. Yes, sir. Let me re recollect actually. Yes. Uh, is that get and post method in action tab? We declare that in JSP. No, no, no. JSP action tag. 
No, I cannot recollect now, sir. Can you come again? JSP accent tag basically we are used for to load the different beams. That is called use beam ID. Okay. So action okay. basically what? Uh, basically we have a uh, different types of action like forward action, include action, use beam action, reset property, get property, plug in action, param action. Okay. So these are basically action tags are there in the JSP part. So basically, Definitely. you have a one program. You have a one program like demo dot Java. Okay. So I am writing my program. I am writing one program the text dot Java. I am using your program demo dot Java. Okay. How to use that? Huh? Means demo dot class. Fine. So I just use your program as a different name. Okay. So JSP colon Use bin ID your program name. Sorry, ID one of the name like XX or so YY. Okay, then the session is be true and the application like equal, your, equal, your program name demo dot class. Okay, I'm using your program. What output? Got my point or not? Yeah, okay. Yes, I got you. Yes. So if you are using your program in program, suppose you have a login for login ID program is there. So here I am just using your variable as a set property and get property method. I'm just collecting your variable as a name of set property. Like user user ID set property is there. You just collect your variable and get property. I'm using my variable means I'm using your program. This is called basically whole of the action tag. Got my point or not? Yes, sir. Got you. Okay. Thank you. And next coming to Okay. So now thank you for many attending the, all the these classes. Fine. So today the time is over now. You just leave the class. And, Thank you, uh, sir. and any doubt regarding all of the letter and discuss, huh? Sure, sure. Thank you. Lord.